So I'm going to show you how you can easily customize a logo animation using Premiere Pro. This is the exact logo animation I use for my video intro. Check this out. So after downloading the file, you're gonna see it, it looks something like this. It's actually a zip file. So what you want to do to this zip file is that you want to right click on it and if you have WinRAR installed, you just want to click on extract here. If you don't have WinRAR on your system, there's a link in the description of this video where you can get WinRAR for free. Also to get this smoke logo review um, zip file right here, go to the link in the description below and you're gonna see a link to get this smoke logo review that we're going to edit using Premiere Pro so that's it what you want to do next is that you want to click on extract here and once you click on extract here you want to type in the password I'm going to give you this password at the end of this video so make sure you keep watching I promise you the video is not going to be too long so just keep watching so once you click enter it's going to start extracting from this zip file right here and it's going to give you the folders in that zip file so we're just going to wait a little bit for that to get extracted and as you can see it's moving pretty fast right here so we're going to wait for a little bit and done so after that you're going to see a new folder here so what you want to do is that you want to open this folder open the one inside and make sure that the one you extracted have this project file this premiere pro project file inside so what you want to do now is that you want to head to premiere pro right here and you want to click on file and say import right down here or you click on ctrl i if you are using a windows or command i if you're using a mac system but for me i'm just going to click on import right here and it's going to open the folder and um, i'm going to choose where the file is actually and for this you're going to choose the project file in the file we just extracted and choose the color there and click on open once you click on that it's going to show you things like this and what you want to do is i want to click on the entire project and click on ok so it's going to import the entire project and as you can see here it said some fonts are missing so actually you can change the fonts and you can leave it this way if you like so now as you can see this is all the things here and what you want to do now is that you want to right click here and um, you want to open this nested sequence so just double click on that and it's going to open the nested sequence in the sequence panel right here and as you can see if you move further you're going to see my channel's logo and um, my channel's motto right here so that's it as you can see it's still revealing the channel's logo and motto so what you want to do is that you want to actually replace my logo and the motto here with yours so to replace this what you want to do is that you want to open the assets and the, in the project um, file and what you want to do is that you want to right click on the footage and you want to scroll down a little bit and you see this no forever p here what you want to do is that you want to just click on it once and right click and say replace footage so once you click on replace footage now you can look for where you saved your own file in your system or your picture your logo or anything you want the smoke to reveal so now for me i'm going to use another logo like the camtasia logo right here and i'm going to click on select and once i click on select it's going to replace that picture actually with the camtasia logo right here but as you can see the logo covers the text right here and what you want to do now is that in order to make the logo a little bit smaller you want to scroll down and you will see um replace logo and slogan here so what you want to do now is that you want to double click on this part also and it's going to open another sequence where you can replace this now you want to click on the first one which is the top one and this will be for the logo and once you click on that you want to head over to effect control and you want to scale that down a little bit to your desired size so for me i'm going to leave it this way and for now for the um slogan i'm just going to double click on that and it's going to open the title panel and once it opens the title panel and i want to put a new logo here for this one i'm just going to use the name of the software so i'm just going to highlight everything and delete that and i'm going to use camtasia so i'm going to use camtasia and once i have done that i just want to close the title panel right here and as you can see that's camtasia there but now you need to um change the position a little bit so to do this head to your effects 
control and make sure that the under one is clicked so make sure the under one is clicked and you want to head over to the um to the exposition of this text so this is the exposition right here and what you want to do now is that you want to slightly move the text a little bit make sure they are clicked and what you want to do is that you want to move the text a little bit to the right or to the left anyway you see it that way to make sure it's actually fit if it doesn't fit you can continue moving this to make sure you get your desired results and once you have that you can just simply close the second sequence here and boom you have your own logo smoke logo reveal in premiere pro so i'm just going to render this for now and i'm going to show you how everything looks like so once i click on enter it's going to render all file and we're going to wait a little bit for these files to get rendered and i'm going to play you i'm going to give you the playback of the entire stuff so i have finished rendering the file and here is how the end product looks like as you can see that's the smoke right there and boom you have the camtasia logo and your slogan and that's how easy it is to create a smoke effect using my preset pack so head to the description of this video and download that if you like this video be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and also i want to know in the comments if you need more free templates that you can customize and make your own intro if you need them let me know down in the comments and also be sure to hit that subscribe button if you need more video tutorials on premiere pro just like this one and i'll see you in the next video right now on the screen if you haven't got premiere pro here is a video to get it for free click on this video and go watch how to get premiere pro entirely for free